on a solar satellite in the not too distant future. You are QT1. It is your responsibility to man this space station. Two scientists must solve a mystery. Something must have made you believe. For you to make me seems improbable. I, myself, exist because I think. Oh, Jupiter, a robot to cart. I told you how great we made you. A hypothesis must be backed by reason, or else it is worthless. If we didn't make you, who did? I'm talking about the master. But this template screwball is talking about the energy converter itself. There is no master but the master, and QT1 is his prophet. This is what I think of your master. <laughs> Henceforth, Powell and you have barred from the engine room. But this robot... Sizzling Saturn! We've got a lunatic robot on our hands! We show with that robot. He's pure nuts. Is out of control. You heard make shift. Those robots must obey us! It's the second law! The electron storm is coming up. Do you know what's headed dead straight center for the Earth beam? If only QD at the controls, that beam is going to go out of focus. And if it does, heaven help us. A race against time. For the love of Jupiter, we gotta do something! Action! You are inferior creatures, with poor reasoning faculties. Now that your service is over, you will probably not exist much longer. Why do you insist on an entirely false view of life? I seek only to serve the master, and not to question his ways. Suspense! Let's build a robot right before his eyes. Deleted words then. You had merely put parts together already made, parts made by the master. Draw. Can he handle the situation? Yeah. Then what's the difference what he needs? He's a reasoning robot. You can prove anything you want by coldly logical reason. Isaac Asimov's reason coming to be new.